Okay, it seems like quite a few of you have some issues with uh, basic HTML, CSS setup for building a website from scratch. So I'm going to take this into a slightly different direction than we've done before. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, in this particular case, the uh, I have my basic HTML files over here, HTML, CSS, the asterisk tag, the body tag, the paragraph tag. Those are basic HTML tags. Now we're going to put in a series of div tags. Here's a simplistic, very step by straightforward, step-by-step -step way to do this. We're simply going to name our div tags across the page in the order that they appear. So first up, I'm going to type in the word branding, P-R-A-N-T-I-N-G, space. That's going to be followed by site nav, space. That's going to be followed by, by a news bar, space. That's going to be followed by main content, space. That's going to be followed by Google Ads, space bar. That's going to be followed by footer. Okay, so this is a very simplistic way to build your site. You identify your div tag IDs. These are going to be the div tag IDs. Branding, site nav, news bar, main content, Google Ads footer. Now, of course, from previous classes, that all content goes inside the wrapper div tag. So if we select the body tag on the bottom left here, that content is now selected. Therefore, it can be affected. In order to affect something, I have to select something. So down here in the body tag, I selected the content for this particular site. I go up here to layout, layout first icon right here, insert div tag. We're going to call the div tag wrapper. Okay, now I have a div tag, but I don't have a div tag rule. I don't have rules for my div tag. So just like all previous exercises, all previous videos, we select the tag. If we select the tag, come over here, make a rule. We're going to make a rule for the selected tag. So we're going to do what we've done many times before. Okay, so we're going to make our standard 900 by 650 div tag for wrapper. We're going to drop down, down, down from the top half inch. There's 70 pixels to an inch, so I can say 72 divided by 2 equals 36 pixels. We're going to align this to the right automatically, the left automatically. That gives our div tag wrapper. We're going to put a border in here, say let's do a solid 2 pixel orange border. Okay, good app into make a change, save a change, command key S, wrapper appears right here. Now the rest is child's play. It's really, really this simple. We're going to put branding inside the branding tag. How do I do that? Very simply, double click, copy, copy to the clipboard. Rule number one to have in a computer, I don't want to have to reinvent the wheel here. So I already have it typed. I can copy, paste, it's the oldest trick in the book. I come up here and I say, paste return double click site nav now in this particular case very important step here site nav is going to be above news bar so we're going to put these two div tags in a div tag called sidebar so in order to affect this content we need to select this content we come up here and we type in sidebar now Inside the sidebar, I want to have a site nav and news bar. So double click site nav, copy, come up here and paste, copy, paste. That's the name of the div tag. Double click news bar, copy, come up here and paste. Again, command C, Macintosh, control C, Windows. At this time, guys, you should really understand how to copy and paste something. If you don't know how to do that, then this lesson is not for you. I'm just simply copying, pasting. Con command C, Control C, Command V, Control V. Okay, so now I go to main content, double click, copy, come up here, and paste. <clears throat> go to Google Ads, double click, copy, come up here, and paste. Footer, double click, copy, come up here, and paste. Simple, simple, simple. 
Simple, simple. Make a change, save a change. So if you go to your code for a second, you'll see that I have my div tags. Now, wrapper starts here, wrapper ends here. Inside the sidebar, I have these two div tags, site nav and news bar. Actually, that's supposed to be called news bar. So let's correct that. News bar. Make a change, save a change. Go back to design mode. Incidentally, a shortcut key for toggling between design and code is control key tilde symbol. The tilde symbol is the left of your one key. Control tilde toggles between design mode, code mode, design mode, code mode. Control tilde works on both Windows and Macintosh. Okay, so now we can get started building the div tag layout for our site.